Welcome to this MicroFocus Zenworks video presentation. My name is Vikram Goyal and I am Product Manager for the Zenworks Configuration Management. Zenworks provides a unified solution for managing, securing and protecting endpoint devices. In addition to managing the life cycle of all of your endpoints from operating system provisioning to remote management to application delivery and policy configuration, Zenworks secures your endpoints against common vulnerabilities encountered during everyday usage while also protecting the sensitive company data that lives on those endpoints through extensive encryption capability. Core to this solution is the ability to manage based on identity, either the device or the user, using a single console that unifies your experience and lets you focus on what is most important, managing, securing, and protecting your endpoint. Zenbox 2020 provides significant advancements in each of these three areas. This presentation addresses what's new in Zenworks 2020 to help you better manage your devices. Zenworks already has industry's best application deployment capability. The focus of managed theme in Zenworks 2020 is to further improve upon application lifecycle management tracking. Along with it, many customer ideas centered around managing applications in a better manner, both by administrators and end users have been included. Let's take a quick look at improvements which have been done to further better application lifecycle tracking. In Zenworks, bundles are used for deploying applications on devices. In Zenworks 2020, bundle status across bundle lifecycle has been improved upon so that it is easy to visualize and understand. It is more accurate, and lastly, to ensure that the status is more current and not stale. So let's take a look at the changes we have done and how it can help you track your application deployment faster and more accurately. In Zenworks 2020, we have done away with status snapshot for a bundle. Instead, making use of our dashboard framework, we have introduced a dashboard for every bundle to provide you with all the relevant status details. To access it, you can click on Dashboard tab. Here, you would find a set of predefined dashlets which would show both the assignment and deployment status for the bundle so that it is easy to understand the status at a glance. If we look at the device assignment dashlet, it is possible to tell upfront that bundle has been assigned to three devices and it is effective only on two of them. Drilling down into device assignment dashlet, it is possible to understand why assignment is not effective on a device from the grid itself where it is mentioned that the platform of the device does not matches. For user assignment, it is possible to understand that bundle has been assigned to six users where it is effective only for two of them. Drilling down into user assignment status shows the list of users for whom the bundle is effective and the devices they have logged into. Therein, it is possible to identify the users for whom the bundle is effective along with the devices on which they have logged into. For the rest of the users, no information is available as they haven't yet logged into a device and thus it is not possible to determine the effectiveness of the bundle. Like other dashlet in Zenworks, it is possible to customize the dashlet as per your needs by changing the filter and subsequently saving it. Since it is much easier to track status for a bundle based upon its action sets with distribute, install and launch, in Zenworks 2020, we are no longer showing a consolidated status of a bundle. Instead, we are providing three default dashlets, each corresponding to distribution, install and launch. Since installation dashlet shows 50% failure, let's drill down and try to understand what and why of it. The installation dashlet shows that install failed for 50% of devices, looking into the install message shows us a reason for it. If I'm interested in understanding that if the launch happened okay for these devices, I can always add the columns and find the information right from here itself. In fact, I can add from a vast list of columns and see the relevant data. Since the timestamp indicates that the data is old, it is possible to click on refresh. This ensures that for the bundle in question, all status related processing happens and latest process data is shown. Zenbox provides feature where it is possible for a bundle to execute another bundle. Since the error message indicates that the error happened on a child bundle, let's see if we can find more details from the child bundle, which is balsamic in this particular case. This is the dashboard for the dependent bundle, balsamic. As expected, here install dashlet indicates errors. Error message here tells us that requirements were not met for these devices. So let's fix these errors and publish a new version of this bundle. Here we are publishing a new version of this particular bundle. 
After fixing the errors, let's refresh the devices so that they get the latest bundle version. And since this bundle is configured to install and refresh, it would also deploy the bundle. Once refresh is completed, we can then fetch the status of bundle on demand. Since the refresh is completed, we'll fetch the status of the bundle on demand using a new quick task introduced in Zenworth 2020, which is retrieve bundle status. At this point, devices would upload the latest status of the bundle in question directly to server where it would get processed. And yes, it seems that it did fix the problem. Since we never refreshed the other devices, it is also possible to see that the other two devices still have the older version of the bundle installed in them, which is due to the fact that now we are tracking status per version of action set. If we go back to the original bundle, which is the balsamic mockups, we would see that the installation is not successful across all the four devices. But this is not all. Zenworx 2020 packs many more features across secure, manage and protect themes, which we believe would help you secure, manage and protect your endpoint devices in a better manner than before. Thanks for watching.